Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here, welcome. I love to go through fashion, handbags, accessories. Most importantly, I love doing reviews on this channel, just kind of showing you guys some of the bags that I picked up that I love, really showing what fits inside, comparisons, and also just meeting you and chatting with you and sharing with you my love for handbags. If that's something that you love as well, please consider subscribing. And if you're not following me on Instagram, I'm gonna drop my information below, but I love meeting you guys there. And also most importantly, I just love showcasing the bags that I love or bags I have in my life currently. So today's video is going to be showing bags that I've been using in rotation. And usually for the most part, I've been just gravitating towards this. And you guys know, if you guys have, you know, a bag problem or a bag obsession, you know that you'll use something you love and then you'll kind of like put it away and then grab something else. It just kind of rotates through. But so far I would say, in the last couple of months, these five bags I'm gonna show you are really like my ride or die. I feel like every bag here has a purpose and I just been like loving it. Not to say I don't love any of the other bags because I still love all my bags and I definitely you know, put a lot of thought before I actually purchase something. Uh, but I think these just for you know the activities I've been doing and also like weather and stuff like that, it's just been working out really well. So let me share that with you. Let's get started on handbags. So it is this one right here. And thank goodness, um, it is this one right here. And initially I was looking for a beige gold or even beige silver is fine. Beige is definitely very difficult to find because the gold and beige is in only the new designs. And I was very adamant about getting the older YSL because I like the way the logo was placed versus like shifted up. So I was looking for an older model, but I wanted it in like a more of a neutral color. And I had so many black handbags already. I didn't want to get another black one. At the same time, I saw this blue one for a really awesome deal. And this bag is pretty much new. There was like no flaws whatsoever on the bag. Until this day, I still don't see any. But because of those things, I was like, whoa. I don't know, you guys just wait and then that color will appear. But I decided, you know what, I'm gonna give this a go because I've started to realize fall is coming. We wanna use darker colors anyways. Plus I noticed blue has really been making a comeback um, in this false color scheme. And I felt like this in itself is a good neutral. I just love this bag so much because it's so easy to use. And I love mini bags. I mentioned in so many videos, if not all, but the problem with that is everything needs to be strategically placed. And sometimes it just like when you're checking out or you're at the cashier, it, it, it can take some time, right? Cause you're like, oh, I need to get my key. I need to pull out my lip gloss. I need to pull out my wallet. And then you can't just throw it in there because it wouldn't fit. This one you can, and you don't have to fill it to the brim. I don't. There's still some stuff I have in here, but you see there's this pocket, the middle and the back. But do you want to know why I started loving it? I purchased a long strap and you guys know I don't like bags that hang really long, but this turns it into a crossbody and it's a high crossbody because that's the way I like it. I like it higher so I can just like go in there and grab things. But look, it is like such a game changer and I still have my original strap, um, chain strap that I got from the with the bag from YSL. And I do still use it if I want a little shoulder moment, but for the most part, and you guys know me, I just love my crossbodies. So I add this in and when I'm running errands, it just makes life so much easier. But if I don't want to wear it that way, I just use it like this and it's so easy to carry. I just think it's so, so, so good. And I cannot rave more about this bag. Now you guys know I was debating between this and then the small medium size. But again, that bag, as cute and beautiful as it is, it's the same issue with a mini bag, right? You can't just dump things in. It's, it's still pretty petite of a bag, which I love. But in the because I have so many in that same size, I just wanted something a little bit bigger. So it's a really like carefree bag that I can just toss whatever I want. And it's durable. And this, this lambskin is so soft and supple. It's just 
honestly the best. And at the price point I got it for, so I got this on Fashion File. You guys don't ever think buying pre-loved is not a good option because you can find things in almost brand new condition for like 70% off of the original retail price. And that's basically what this was. Um, so to that point, I just am so in love and don't forget the good back pocket. So yeah, this is definitely my grab and go when it comes to more so every day. So the main ones for every day I rotate between is that one and this one right here. And this is my toiletry 26 that I turned into a crossbody. Again, you, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I've been posting about this. It's so good because it's, so I originally had like a crossbody strap, then I took it off. And then what I've just, I've tried so many iterations of styling this and there's honestly, there's so, so, so many different ways, but this has been my go-to. This drop is perfect for me. And I just like wearing it like this because I think it's so cute. And I've gotten so many questions about it when I wear it out like, oh, I really like that style. What is it called? I want to go to Louis Vuitton and pick it up. And I would explain to them it's actually a toiletry. So obviously in our little bag community, we all know about the toilet toiletry 26 and how to convert it. But I think a lot of times like people that may not go on YouTube or may not follow social like to the same extent, they are still like super interested in wondering like what this is. Um, and I've also gone through many inserts and if you guys are interested, I will do another video dedicated to the best inserts for this and why something works and something doesn't work because the insert I have now is perfect, but I've had like other inserts and it was just a huge fail. And if you guys want to know more about that, I will share that in a different video. So I have all my items in here, but you can see it fits everything, like anything you need plus more. In my opinion, this is the perfect size. And this is a pretty carefree bag. I mean, there's a there's Vachetta here, but that's no big deal. Um, and surprisingly, I've again, purchased chains from I don't know, Samorga, I purchased a chain from, where else, like a many on Amazon, and I just didn't love it as much as I love this one. And you guys won't believe where this chain came from. This is from my coach, Cassie19. It, like this brass just goes so well with the monogram, and I just love the drop length. And as much as I love like the ones that you see everyone talk about, which is the Samorga one, that's super chunky, um, almost like gives you like Bottega vibes. I love that look too, but when I'm actually like out making errands and I just feel like it's a little too much for what I normally wear on a day to day. So I feel like this is more subtle and just goes so well. So yeah, between this and the YSL, that's all I really need. These two are my ride or die. I love it, love it so much. So if I want to go to dinner and let's say I don't want to carry like everything in my YSL or you know, I need something that's a little bit, a little bit more dressy compared to my toiletry. This is the bag I gravitate towards. It's my little Balenciaga, still love her so much. Um, obviously this bag comes with a strap. I removed it because if I'm going to dinner or like brunch with the girls, I just want to carry this. Um, and I just usually hold it like this or hold it by the handle. And I think it's so cute and I don't need to carry that much if I'm just going to dinner and stuff. So this is just one big pocket as you can see and all i need to carry are keys wallet lip gloss and that's pretty much it so this bag just does just that but don't get me wrong um again i have all of i have detailed reviews of all of these bags i'll drop below this bag actually fits all your essentials so i can use this for a day to like an everyday bag as well it's just because you know Right now I'm gravitating towards the other two, but definitely would recommend this bag because I feel like it's a great everyday. And when I purchased this, I my thought process was to use it for everyday and I did. Um, and I probably will still go back to it. But yeah, it does have this little back pocket. It doesn't, it's not like the YSL back pocket, obviously, where it's flexible and you can fit so much in it. This is more like put like a parking ticket or I have what I have in here. This is just an alcohol wipe. Um, you can put like cash and stuff like that, but it's not gonna, you can't put your keys. You can put your phone and I do sometimes. What I do is I just, I have a big phone, I have a 12 Pro Max. So putting it this way really takes up a lot and it's like, it's really tight in there. So I just stick it in this way and it fits perfectly. But to show you, here's a case for my phone and this fits in here. 
perfectly too. So yeah, you can see like this bag definitely fits all your, this bag definitely fits all your essentials, um, but it also works great as just like a little dinner or brunch bag. So this is another one in rotation. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like amusement parks are, you know, slowly opening up and I personally love to go to them. I love to, you know, sometimes go to the zoo. I mean, there's just like so many things I do and I don't want to necessarily carry my other bags in a scenario like that because obviously if you're at a park or a zoo or amusement park, you're like walking a lot and things are, you know, you just want to be as careful with your stuff. So I love using belt bags. I mean, belt bags are my go-to and I've been using my Dorymon Gucci one and I just love this little bag because it like, I don't need that much room. So all I put in there is my phone, a card case, keys, and my, and my uh, what else? Lip gloss, that's literally it. So that's all I need, it's light, it's cute. It kind of fits with that like vacation, casual, like weekend vibe. Um, so yeah, between this and some other belt bags I have, I actually did a video on showcasing, I, you know, my opinion, all the belt bags that I love. I'll drop that below as well. But for amusement parks and zoos and stuff, this has been my go-to nowadays. Last bag is for travel. So definitely I think now I've been traveling more, um, whether it's just like mini getaways or, you know, quick like work trips and such and things like that. And I, you know, with that, a mini bag is great, but you do need something bigger because carry on can be a pain. You want to have, you know, obviously like your toiletry stuff with you at times you want to have, you know, for me, I carry my laptop, uh, all my chargers. And then I actually put like a bag in, like a purse in there as well. So if I'm going to like, just need to grab it, I'll grab the purse out of there. And this is the one I've been using. And this is my Gucci tote. So I do have the Louis Vuitton Never Full as well. So I sold my Damier Ibn in darker color. So right now I just have the like white pink version and that one gets dirty real fast. So to be honest, I haven't really gravitated towards using her just because like I put my bag on the floor and stuff, you know, like in the airplane and I've noticed like the bottom of it would be really dirty. So you know, it's not a big deal. Like I can wipe it down and stuff, but sometimes you just don't want to deal with that. So I've been using this one because this is coated in um, like a plas plastic or like a PVC. I'm not even sure what it is, but it is um, waterproof. So actually my last trip I took, I literally just took like a little diaper um, wipe and just like cleaned off my bag and then used like a wet cloth and wiped it. And it's like brand new. And I've been using her for um, all my traveling. This is really comfortable to wear because this part's leather and it is so, I have it stuffed right now, as you guys can see, but it's so big and I actually have an organizer in there too. So it helps me sort out like my charger, my, my computer and stuff. And what I could do is I can throw like a smaller bag in here. Like I wanna carry my, um, my mini pochette or like my Prada edition. I can just throw her in there. Um, and then when I don't need my big bag anymore, I'm transitioning, I just take the smaller bag out and then put this one away in the hotel. So great travel bag. Um, and I think that when people think about travel bags and stuff, there's like so many options. And I know the Louis Vuitton on the go is kind of the one that everyone's been gravitating towards. Right, the bag, I'll drop a picture right here. Um, I love that bag. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's like super classic and very chic, but I tried it on the store. And for me personally, it's just a little heavy. And I have this thing where I'll buy bags because they're beautiful and I love it, but because they're heavy, I end up never using it and I'll either sell it or it's just like still in my closet. Because especially you guys know if you travel, you're going through and you're walking. There's so much walking. There's so much like, you know, stuff that you're grabbing. And I don't want something to weigh on my shoulders. And a lot of times I do just strap it onto my luggage, but at the same time, it hurts your shoulders a little bit, right? So you want something like a never full or something like this that's like paper, like weighs nothing. So by the time you actually put your items in it, it's not gonna weigh your shoulders down. So that's just 
how I like to travel personally. But you guys, I love to know what are your bags currently in your rotation? Or are you considering any of these bags or have any questions on any bags I shared today? Because I wanna know like, what are you using? What are your favorite everyday bags? favorite travel bags, dinner, evening bags, please let me know. I always love a good idea because you guys know like right now this is in rotation, but maybe a month from now something else will be in rotation. But the great news is I definitely will see these particular bags in my collection for a long, long time, if not forever, because I just been enjoying using them so much. So if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you want to see for next week's videos. And I will talk to you later. Bye.